the disappearance of a formidable great white shark, nicknamed Shark Alpha, sparked an unsettling mystery in the vast ocean. Some speculate that a colossal mutated water snake or eel, its size amplified by pollution, could be responsible. Our understanding of the ocean, despite its serene appearance, remains limited, with only about 20% mapped. This raises a chilling question. Are the apex predators truly the most dangerous? Or is there something else lurking in the depths, something that even frightens them to shore? Could an undiscovered terrifying force be at play? Vanishing Apex Predator The enigma began in 2003 when Australian researchers tagged the nine-foot-long shark alpha to track its movements. Four months later, its tag washed ashore. The massive shark was gone without a trace. Theories abounded, from a megalodon to a giant squid, but no explanation seemed plausible for the disappearance of such a powerful predator. Whatever encountered Shark Alpha was clearly something it feared. The mystery intensified when filmmakers Dave and Janine Riggs documented a shocking discovery in Bremer Bay, Australia. Nine massive sperm whales lay dead and mangled on the beach, while great white sharks circled the carcasses in a feeding frenzy. Scientists, alerted by Dave, rushed to the scene with geotagging technology, intending to track the sharks and study their migration. However, they were about to uncover evidence of a far more powerful force in the ocean. Adding to the intrigue, Damien, while filming off Brazil's coast, captured a bizarre moment. An unidentified object erupted from the swirling water and vanished just as quickly, leaving him and a nearby boater shaken by the encounter. With scientists on site at the whale carcass feeding frenzy, the effort to tag the sharks began. As they navigated their boats, they focused on tagging the great whites, including a particularly large female, Shark Alpha, a powerful and swift apex predator. What started as a routine migration study took a startling turn. Four months later, Shark Alpha's tag was found washed up on a beach, alone, with no sign of the shark or any struggle. Data analysis revealed that on Christmas Eve, Shark Alpha abruptly veered off course and plunged to nearly 1,900 feet, a depth far beyond the normal range for great whites. Then came a shocking temperature spike recorded by the tag, soaring from a frigid 46 degrees Fahrenheit to a scorching 78 degrees Fahrenheit. This rapid heat increase, typically associated with warm-blooded creatures, suggested that Shark Alpha had been consumed. Whatever preyed on this formidable shark was fast, ruthless, and terrifying making even Shark Alpha seem defenseless. Scientists were left to ponder the chilling question, what creature in the deep could overpower and consume such a powerful predator, its fate seemingly sealed in a region known as the Kill Zone, a place whispered to be one of the most dangerous in the world? Unveiling the Secrets of the Kill Zone To solve the mystery of Shark Alpha's disappearance, Dave Riggs wasn't about to sit back and let others do all the work. As soon as he learned the tag had taken Shark Alpha to a mysterious depth of 1,900 feet, he was consumed by one idea, the kill zone. This place, buried deep under the waters of Australia's southern oceans, was infamous for being a deadly battleground where the fiercest predators of the sea fought for supremacy. Imagine this, a vast undersea valley that plunges nearly three miles into the depths, twice the depth of the Grand Canyon. The region is alive with activity, but not the kind you'd want to witness. Natural gases and nutrients seep from the Earth's crust, attracting a plethora of smaller creatures to the ocean floor. But those creatures aren't the only ones drawn to this fertile hunting ground. Hungry predators, great whites, killer whales, and even giant squid flock to the area, eager to sink their teeth into whatever they can catch. It's a deep-sea feeding frenzy, an underwater fight for survival. Dave, with his curiosity burning brighter than ever, knew he had to dive into this deadly zone to uncover the truth. But this wasn't just any dive. This was going to be dangerous, really dangerous. Dave, a man with more guts than most, crafted his own makeshift underwater vehicle for the mission made from a metal frame, old lawnmower parts, and five layers of protective fiberglass. The contraption was his only hope of surviving the mission. Now, most people would have looked at that homemade death trap and thought, yeah, I'm good. But not Dave. He and his team of equally fearless adventurers climbed into the vehicle, ready to descend into the kill zone. 
Would they uncover the truth about what took down Shark Alpha, or would they end up becoming part of the food chain themselves? The Giant Squid Hypothesis Dave and his team were left scratching their heads when their initial suspect, a killer whale, seemed too simplistic to explain the mysterious fate of Shark Alpha. After all, killer whales are known to take down sharks, but what if the truth was much darker? What if the predator wasn't a familiar face at all? What if the creature that took Shark Alpha was something far more elusive, a monster from the deepest depths of the ocean? That's where the giant squid comes in. These creatures have long been shrouded in mystery, living so deep beneath the waves that humans still know so little about them. Giant squids can grow to monstrous sizes, some reaching up to 59 feet long and weighing as much as a ton, 2,000 pounds. While they are most often associated with snatching smaller prey, the question remained, could one of these legendary creatures have taken down Shark Alpha, a massive nine-foot-long great white shark? What made this theory even more interesting was the depth at which Shark Alpha met its end, around 1,900 feet. Guess where giant squids call home? That's right, deep in those same cold, dark waters. If a giant squid had spotted Shark Alpha, it could have dragged the shark back to its undersea layer without anyone noticing, and recent discoveries added even more fuel to this theory. Scientists recently found a white tip shark covered in giant squid tentacle marks, proof that these creatures have attacked sharks before. Giant squids are equipped with incredible speed and strength. Their tentacles can strike prey from up to 33 feet away, and their suckers can latch on with astonishing force, making it nearly impossible for anything to escape. Given their size and strength, a squid could easily overpower a great white, especially if it caught the shark off guard. However, there's a major catch to this theory, and it's one that would change everything. As the research team dug deeper into the data, a startling discovery popped up. A sudden and massive spike in temperature. Shark Alpha's tracking tag had recorded an increase from the cold deep sea temperature of 46 degrees Fahrenheit to a much warmer 78 degrees Fahrenheit, an indication that whatever devoured the shark was warm-blooded. Now, this was a huge problem for the giant squid theory. Squids are cold-blooded, which means their body temperature matches that of the surrounding water. If a squid had eaten Shark Alpha, the tag would have remained at the same chilly 46 degrees Fahrenheit, just like the surrounding water. The drastic rise in temperature, however, suggested that the predator was warm-blooded. This revelation meant that the giant squid hypothesis had just been ruled out. While it was a relief for anyone worried about a run-in with a giant squid, it left the team with an unsettling question. What had actually taken down Shark Alpha? With no answers and no leads, the research team was back at square one. The ocean, with its endless depths and unexplored mysteries, still held the answers somewhere in the dark, waiting to be discovered. The hunt for Shark Alpha's killer was far from over. The Mosasaurus Theory Let's take a sharp turn and dive into one of the most mind-blowing and terrifying possibilities, the Mosasaurus. Imagine a creature so ancient and so terrifying that it could make even the great white shark seem like a mere appetizer. The Mosasaurus, a colossal ocean predator from the age of the dinosaurs, could very well be the key to understanding Shark Alpha's disappearance. This marine giant, once roaming the seas alongside other prehistoric monsters, might still be out there lurking in the dark depths, waiting for its next meal. The Mosasaurus was a true behemoth, growing to lengths of over 50 feet and weighing several tons. Built for speed and agility, its flipper-like limbs and powerful tail allowed it to glide effortlessly through the ocean at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. While that's only a little faster than a great white shark, around 25 to 30 miles per hour in short bursts, its size made it an entirely different story. The Mosasaurus dwarfed Shark Alpha by more than five times its length and over ten times its weight. In a battle between the two, it would be no contest. But here's the catch. This theory depends on the idea that the Mosasaurus somehow survived the mass extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Could such an ancient reptile still be lurking in the ocean today, hiding in the unexplored depths? The idea of these sea giants evading extinction and living deep in the oceans is chilling, but is it even possible? While the Mosasaurus is the type of creature that could easily devour a great white, the question remains, 
Could it have survived all this time without leaving a single trace? The Megalodon Mystery Before we get too excited about the idea of the Mosasaurus still prowling the ocean, let's rewind 66 million years ago when an asteroid hit Earth, wiping out the dinosaurs. While land creatures perished, what about those in the ocean? The deep ocean might have shielded some life from the immediate impact, but environmental changes like acid rain and rising ocean acidity wiped out much of the marine life. So while it's unlikely that creatures like the Mosasaurus survived, there's another deep-sea giant that has sparked theories for years – the Megalodon. The Megalodon, the largest shark to ever swim Earth, could grow up to 60 feet long, with jaws wide enough to swallow a great white hole. Despite being extinct for over three million years, some wonder if it still lurks in the deep ocean. Species once thought extinct, like the coelacanth, were rediscovered in 1938. Could the megalodon have done the same, adapting to life in the deep away from human eyes? Though no megalodon has been spotted, some theories suggest it may have evolved over millions of years, becoming a slower, less aggressive predator, more like today's sleeper shark. If it did evolve this way, it could still live in the deepest parts of the ocean, undetected by humans. However, for the megalodon to survive in the deep, it would need major adaptations. It thrived in warm coastal waters, so adapting to cold, barren depths would require drastic changes. Even with those changes, a slow-moving megalodon likely wouldn't have the speed and strength to overpower a nine-foot-long great white shark. Could megalodons have evolved into the idea of the megalodon still roaming the ocean might sound like fantasy, but some researchers argue it's possible. They believe that if the megalodon survived, it could have adapted to the deep sea over millions of years. Evolution is powerful, and if the megalodon managed to evade extinction, its transformation would be remarkable. Surviving in the deep sea requires toughness, freezing temperatures, crushing pressures, and total darkness. 1. Any creature living there would need to be resilient. The theory suggests that a surviving megalodon would have drastically changed its lifestyle to adapt to the harsh deep-sea environment. In the deep, the megalodon wouldn't be the aggressive, sleek predator it once was. Instead, it would likely resemble a sleeper shark, slow-moving, energy-efficient, and less intimidating than its ancestors. Speed and size wouldn't be assets anymore, instead, it would need to be stealthy to survive. The theory suggests that over time, the megalodon could have evolved into a sluggish, unrecognizable version of itself. But even if such a creature existed, it likely wouldn't have the power and aggression to take down something like Shark Alpha. The odds are against it. While it's exciting to think about a prehistoric predator still hiding in the deep, the deep sea conditions would probably transform even the fiercest predator into a mere shadow of its former self. If the megalodon adapted to the abyss, it might not even look or behave like a shark anymore. But if the megalodon is ruled out, another ancient predator with even more fearsome teeth might be behind the mystery. The Liviatan Theory The next candidate in the investigation is a creature even more fearsome than the megalodon. Meet Liviatan melvillae, an extinct species of sperm whale named after the biblical sea monster Leviathan and the author Herman Melville. This prehistoric predator was a true heavyweight, measuring around 60 feet long with jaws lined with teeth up to 14 inches in length, some of the largest teeth ever seen in nature. Liviatan wasn't just big, it was a brutal hunter. Its enormous teeth and powerful bite were designed to take down some of the ocean's most formidable creatures. Unlike modern sperm whales that feed mostly on squid, Liviatan was built to hunt whales and even sharks. Its diet was whatever it could sink its massive teeth into, and it did so with devastating efficiency. During its prime, Liviatan roamed the oceans around 9 million years ago. Its enormous size and ferocious hunting skills would have made it a serious contender for the predator that devoured Shark Alpha. But there's a glaring problem with this theory. Liviatan, like modern whales, needed to surface regularly for air. Its massive body would have made it impossible to stay hidden from detection for so long. If Liviatan Melville had somehow survived the ages, it would have had to adapt drastically to avoid detection. But no matter how well it adapted, a creature that size surfacing for air would have been spotted long ago. Still, its predatory skills and terrifying jaws make it an intriguing candidate. 
If anything resembling Liviatan was still alive today, it would certainly have the capability to take down a Great White. But if Liviatan wasn't responsible, then what other terrifying possibilities remain? With the giant squid theory debunked and the megalodon theory sinking fast, only the most bizarre and unexplained theories are left. And believe it or not, there's one last piece of the puzzle that's even more mind-bending than anything that's come before. The Shocking Discovery Brace yourselves because the answer to the Shark Alpha mystery is far more disturbing than we could have ever imagined. After years of research and deep dives into migration patterns, tracking data and more, the shocking truth came to light in 2014, more than a decade after the investigation began. And let me tell you, when the truth was finally revealed, it left everyone stunned and a little horrified. The breakthrough came when researchers began analyzing the migration patterns of other great white sharks in the area in what had become known as the kill zone. The data from these sharks mirrored the tracking information from Shark Alpha's tag, and suddenly a crucial clue fell into place. The temperature spike we'd been trying to explain for years started to make perfect sense. Now here's where it gets truly messed up. The predator that took down Shark Alpha wasn't a giant squid or a megalodon, or even some mythical sea monster, it was another great white shark. But not just any great white, this one was a massive 16-foot-long cannibalistic shark. Yes, you read that right. A giant great white shark, a cannibal, had devoured Shark Alpha. And while that might sound like something out of a nightmare, it was a full-fledged case of shark-on-shark -shark violence. This was no accident. It was deliberate predatory behavior and it changed everything we thought we knew about these apex predators. The revelation was as mind-blowing as it was chilling. A massive great white shark had consumed one of its own species, proving that even the deadliest creatures in the ocean aren't immune to the savage nature of the deep. The mystery that had once captivated the world had finally been solved, but the answer was far from comforting. It turns out that sometimes the most horrifying threats come from within. Why would a colossal 16-foot-long great white shark feast on one of its own? Surprisingly, shark cannibalism isn't rare. Great whites are opportunistic feeders, meaning they'll eat anything they can, especially when food is scarce. Smaller sharks often fall prey to larger relatives when resources dwindle. This particular shark likely had gigantism, a condition where an animal grows far larger than normal due to excess growth hormones. At over two tons, this massive predator was more than double the size of Shark Alpha, which was only 9 feet long. The gigantism made this shark an outlier, far beyond the usual size for a great white. So when the chance arose, it wasn't about territory or competition, it was simply an opportunity to feed. Despite being a powerful predator, this giant shark wasn't confined to shallow coastal waters. Great whites have been known to dive to incredible depths some over 4,000 feet below the surface. It's possible this enormous shark dragged Shark Alpha down to nearly 2,000 feet, catching it off guard for an easy meal. The unsettling truth behind this rare event is a reminder of how brutal the ocean can be. The mystery that had intrigued so many was solved, but the reality was even more terrifying than imagined. It wasn't a mythical sea monster or a prehistoric giant. It was just a bigger, stronger version of the very creature we fear the most.